Name's Tommy, welcome to That System Error. Now let's talk about The Outsiders. From what I hear, one of the most beloved books to read in class. Or if you're not from the US, you probably weren't as lucky with your teacher's literature choices. I wasn't. It's a short book written by then 16-year-old S.E. Hinton, set in the 60s, made into, in my humble opinion, one of the best movie book adaptions ever. Upon the request of, I think, a school librarian and some students by none other than, that's right, Nicolas Cage's uncle. Don't know if you've heard of the guy. 1983. Pointy Boy Incorporated. <laughs> oh. Two bit over here ready to mess you up. Granted, that is what that scene is about, but as a screenshot, they kinda didn't dirty. Also, with one of the most interesting casting processes, basically involved gathering all the potential actors in one room, who would vibe with who. To this day, it has a surprisingly active fandom. Surprising for an 80s movie, not surprising for how good of a story it is. Quite the interesting personal history of how I came across this story. Then again, my life isn't that interesting um, as a whole, so I'd say any time I find a new thing to obsess over, straight into the highlights folder, otherwise it would be real empty over there. I do remember seeing the book in my own school library. The title kind of got stuck in my head and years later I saw a bit of the movie late at night on television. From then on I was hooked. I was like, I gotta read that book and then I gotta watch the movie in full. I own both, I love both. That led me to buy this denim jackets, quite the staple in that movie, if you know, you know. Specifically to do this famous quote. I did this years ago with gold fabric paint and I never did anything else with it, so I have quite a lot of that paint left. I don't really wear this denim jacket that often because uh, this is probably a bad time to talk about that, but funnily enough, I don't really like denim jackets. <laughs> On me anyways, anytime the weather would be right to wear one, it would also be right to wear a leather jacket. In terms of outerwear, my one true love, I feel like I can do more to this. It's actually quite surprising every time I put this one on, quite a lot of stretch to it, so it's actually really comfortable. I've been thinking about the back. I want to actually paint the outsiders, as in the main characters from the movie. The cover image for the DVD and the movie as a whole, or at least the complete novel version, which is the right version. I cannot stress to you enough how much you need to watch the complete novel version <laughs> and not the other one. So I've been messing around with that image on my computer a little bit. I want to do one of those uh, vector things, solely black and white, then paint the white parts in gold on the back of this jacket. The whole project might be completely pointless um, in the face of, you know, me not actually really liking denim jackets. So if I make it even better, I hope I'm gonna wanna put it on even more. I'm gonna do it anyway and see what happens. Also, I think one thing that always keeps me from wearing this one frayed out bottom, which is either not clean enough or too clean for my liking, I think. Two options, um, giving this like an actual hem or fraying it out more. And uh, I think we all know one of those options is probably easier than the other. I might just go for that one. Also, I like distressing things and I like the look of distressed things, so... However many birds... With one stone. Yes, I did just get that out for this bit. yet to figure out as to how I'm gonna transfer this onto this. I guess I could freehand it but that would take forever and I don't want to. Got a lens that's hopefully gonna get the job done and a shoe box. And I'm gonna build one of those DIY phone projector things. I have been meaning to anyway so I'm basically just using this as an excuse. I'm gonna do that and if it ends up working out 
for this specific endeavor, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> come up with this more or less elaborate setup easel so picture frame tied my denim jacket to it projector setup give this more a white background that i'm projecting on it would work quite perfectly but because this is obviously dark hard to tell sometimes where the line is terrified of accidentally moving any of this uh, now that i've set it up perfectly especially in the dark later so i've marked the position of my easel get the outlines down and that'll just speed up the process as a whole yeah just having a base to go off of makes things much easier with any project um, so it's very welcome had a little hiccup I like to call life. Anyways, that is the current state. Back on the bullshit. This paint has like glitter around Christmas time potential, as in you're gonna find little bits of it everywhere for about the next 10 years of your life. Good news though, Johnny Cade has got a face. The thing is, uh, denim is pretty rough. The paint is thick and all my thin brushes are more on the soft side. What I'm saying is getting a straight line and detail done under these conditions is a perfectionist's nightmare. Glad I'm not one of those. I think I'm gonna do all the faces first because uh, that's obviously the most nerve-wracking should be smooth sailing from there on out. One, two, three, four, four. Mm. There might come a point in this project where I wish the outsiders were a trio. <music> Upon just entering this door, I have decided that I like where this is going. Looks good from afar. Did a little bit more work on good old Derry yesterday. I'm about to give him a little bit more chin because the current state is a bit off. like an old man. You know, sometimes you do think the portrait is right. You look at it the next day and you're like, uh, wow, how did I ever think that was okay to do? I don't know if it's the angle, but I think Matt Dillon has really big ears. I swear I've increased the size of his ear like five times already, but looking at the reference, it's still not big enough. I think I can get away with a lot on Tubit and Steve. They are on the seam, so like, even if I get it perfectly right, it's gonna be a bit distorted. <laughs> enjoying the process though but I might have to get up from this chair for a little bit because I am gonna die from back pain at 30. <laughs> so I've been messing around with Dali all day yesterday. I wish. Um, anyways, I'm good with him now. Started on two bits. I think I'm really looking forward to doing like the texture of like Johnny's and Steve's denim jackets and soda's got a little bit of 
flannel showing up here. Another thing, it doesn't matter how much I mess around with it. Um, Steve's tattoo never shows up completely. So good. Maybe I should stop playing The Sims 2 until like 3 a.m. It's, it's maybe one thing. While I'm working on soda, I might just put on my Outsiders playlist that I made. I think a couple of years ago at this point. You know, genre-wise, this song doesn't make any sense. I just thought it would be funny. I'm going on an adventure. I'm taking what I like to call a lake break and cooped up in the studio all day yesterday. Give my back a rest and my eyes haven't looked farther than like this in quite a while and of course it's the hottest day of the week uh, poor planning on my part I absolutely lathered myself in sunscreen because you know half vampire and the Sun is out to get me <laughs> of the year. Currently got five and a half faces of seven done, so that's pretty good. I've been knee-deep in this project for weeks now, really enjoying it though. I'm as surprised as everyone else, really. I actually watched The Outsiders last night whenever I really love something but haven't, you know, touched it in a while. I'm always a bit worried that, I don't know, maybe I'm just romanticizing it in my mind because it's been so long and maybe now I'm in a different, you know, phase of life, headspace, whatever, and maybe it's not as good anymore. But Everybody calm down, can report, it really is that good a movie. Still can wholeheartedly recommend. <laughs> I think this is the first day in about two weeks where I don't have any errands to run or places to be. And that means I'm gonna finish Pony Boy today. Already got one eye. I'm gonna give him another one and hopefully a mouth. And then we're finally done with the faces. They all have a face now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I finished um, the Obi-Wan Kenobi series on Disney Plus over the weekend. Well, um, hate is a strong word, but you know, sometimes it's appropriate. sick and tired of Hollywood trying to bank solely on my nostalgia. As a very smart man once said, here's a concept that works, 20 million other Star Wars shows emerge. Uh...
working on 2-bit right now, which is also why I've brought a bigger brush this time. He has the most light on him and there's quite a lot to cover, which is also, by the way, why I went with the mirrored image. If you're only painting the light, basically, it sort of reads better if the most light is on the left. So Steve over here is my problem child for the day. I am so close to finishing this. I'll see you at the reveal. Why are you so greasy? He glass when he walks. Daryl, movies and books. Movies and books. Dallas. So you know I'm wrong way to level without me. Soda pop. You see my DX shirt somewhere? Steve. It is my business. Look at my nose. Pony boy. Can you see the sunset from the south side very good? Johnny. Hey, gold. Pony boy. I did that, um, still can't quite believe it. I think everything turned out just perfect. You know how I went with the mirror image? Also it worked out really great, like a lot of light. It's getting like a little bit less over here with Steve, but then you got perfect balance. I was a little bit worried about whether it would, you know, look a bit like ridiculously small or sit maybe a little bit too low. But I don't think it's that at all. I can already feel myself wanting to wear this jacket more. This is definitely, I think this is gonna work. So ready for fall, but uh, what else is new? At the minute, bit warm, bit warm. I love it. Iron it a bit uh, according to package directions of the fabric paint to seal it in. And then it should be good to wash as well. I mean, there's some small bits, so maybe one day when I just lean on something the wrong way, you know, Someone might lose a nose or something. It's nothing I can't fix. I still have quite a lot of that paint left. <laughs> and unless I'm ever adding anything else to this jacket again, I kind of feel like it's gonna be left over until the end of my life. I'm just gonna relish in this for a bit until I dive into the next project. Till then, remember to pop your colors, proper greaser style. Rock on or whatever. Bye.